Hi, my name is Folaromi Afolayo, and I'm a tarot reader, Reiki practitioner, and artist integrating art and healing. And I'm here to offer you a reading for the month of April 2023. So we are going to get started with the tarot and then transition to the oracle portion of the reading. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming on back. All right, so we are going to start with the Crow Tarot. I haven't used this in a while. I'm excited to work with this deck. And as per usual, I like to take a few moments to take a few deep breaths and grounded and get grounded and call in the spiritual teams to support our highest good to support us with this reading. If you that resonates with you, feel free to join me in taking some deep breaths. If not, that's okay. All right, so... I'm going to hold the deck and we're gonna, just going to take a few deep nourishing breaths. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors who support our highest good, please assist us with what we need to know for April 2023. Thank you for your love, truth, and understanding. May we please have clarity and protection during this reading. Ashe. What do we need to know for the month of April? Sorry if this is shaking. My stand's a little... We working, we working, we working with what we got. So if it's a little wobbly when I'm pulling cards, that's what that is. So thank you for understanding. <laughs> oh, what do we need to know for the month of April? Ooh, there's one. There's two. Okay. And there. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's three. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. So the first card that we get is the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands in the building. So this is all about communication, uh, moving forward with um, taking action on things and putting your best foot forward. I don't know why I'm hearing the word transparency. <laughs> the word transparency is coming through. So communicating with as much transparency as possible this month and doing your best to uh, speak with honesty and integrity, whatever that means to you, however that resonates with you. And then you cannot control how someone else responds to it. You know, that's the kind of energy of this card. This also might be a time for busy correspondence as we're beginning spring and it's airy season. So there might be a lot of messaging back and forth correspondence about a job or a new project or new passion project of some sort. But this is about keeping the clear lines of communication open and available, checking in with how you're communicating with yourself and what adjustments need to be made moving forward. So be on the lookout for communication this month, putting your best foot forward and just, you know, doing what's in your control to communicate as clearly and effectively as possible. And then that's all you can do. You see in this image how the wands are moving. It's as, as if someone is throwing these wands or these communication is being put out. You're taking that action. And then once you throw it, you know, you do your best. You have your intentions. But then that's it, you know, and as long as you're working with integrity, communicating with integrity and not the intention to harm someone or to make them feel bad then you're doing the best that you can, you know, and then you just move forward. But be on the lookout for some sort of communication, some sort of decision that needs to be made that's going to involve communication and taking time not to rush with those texts, those emails, those letters. <laughs> Are we still doing letters? I like, you know, I like letters. I think we should get back to letters and postcards. People, I think people still do that. Anyway, <laughs> Coming back to this, you know, just with this Aries energy and this fire, it's like I, collectively with all this stuff going on, it's like this rushed kind of energy. So just being mindful about how you're communicating and taking time to uh, look over your texts or look over your messages or breathing in between sentences <laughs> like I need to do right now. 
And um, yeah, just like just being clear, but putting your best foot forward. If this is a, a eight is also the number of business. So if you're dealing with any business ventures at this time, um, there could be some communication along the lines of that because that continuum, the number of eight is there too, which is the number of business and enterprise. So be on the lookout about that. But this transparency is really big, communicating with transparency, putting your best foot forward and knowing that you've done all you can. And then you release attachment to the outcome is the energy beginning of this month beginning this month. And then we got another wand in the building. So there's lots of action going on, lots of, you know, going forth with things. But the big thing is not to rush and don't feel like even though there's a lot of like outwardly like, oh, tension, just taking your time, doing your grounding exercises, whatever those may be, if it's grounding outside, meditation, whatever it is that makes you feel grounded and back in your body and really within your breath and just really taking your time. You do what's best for you. You know you better than anybody else. So do what is best for you when it comes to getting yourself together, honey. <laughs> okay, the next card is the six of wands. We have the six of wands. So this is like, what are you moving towards this month? What's the best possible outcome for you when thinking about this month? And what do you want to move towards? What are the action steps that you're going to take this month to move towards the best possible outcome for you as you're communicating with that eight of ones, right? Doing what's in your control. How is that possible for you this month? How are you going to move forward with that, with your, your values and taking those action steps that are really intentional and also six being the number of nurturing. How are you going to nurture yourself as you're moving towards your goals this month? Practicing that self-compassion, caring for yourself, caring for those around you, your community. How are you going to nurture that? And, and where is the care in whatever you're working towards this month? Where's the love and passion with whatever you're working towards this month? With that Aries, passionate energy, that go-getter energy. But being really intentional. This month is like, I mean, every time. But like the, specifically this month, what's coming through is just being really intentional with your action. So you're not burning yourself out in exhaustion and really being like, well, what the fuck was that for? <laughs> you know? So just being really, really careful and intentional, like what are you moving towards and what does it feel like in your body? What does it feel like when you're moving toward and emotionally, what does that feel like when you're moving towards the best possible action and the best possible outcome for you as you're communicating your gifts, your desires, um, and just being as transparent and putting your best foot forward this month. What does that look like to you? What does success look like to you? Not to everybody else and a mama and them, <laughs> but what does it look like to you this month? So just keeping that in mind and, and, and keeping your eyes on the prize for you that this, you know, this laurel wreath here. What is that for you? What is that North Star? It's going to be very important this month. And then lastly, um, I think this kind of helps to kind of... Uh, bring a sense of duality here we've got the two of swords the two of swords do it's like do not rush kind of energy so there might be a decision that you have to make in regards to work or a passion project moving forward and this is really uh inviting you to take time to get really clear about what you want get really clear about that in your mind, and this is a great meditation card, this is the Moon and Libra card, so finding a sense of emotional balance as much as you can um, with whatever's in your capacity this month, receiving that support and care that you need as well, if that's what you need, whether it's talking to a therapist of some sort or reaching out to someone to find some sense of balance as much as you can, not perfection, <laughs> but balance within you as you make this decision. So it's like, before you make a decision, Take a breath. Take a breath. It's, you know, it's getting warmer outside, but take a breath and ground. Does this feel right right now? You know, does this feel in alignment with the best possible outcome with the six of uh, wands energy that's here? Right? Does it feel like something that is in alignment with my values? And really taking your time to not rush, knowing that a decision has to be made because this card also says like, don't wait, don't sit in it too long now. Don't, don't, don't be inactive for too long, 
but acting with intention, acting with grounding first, and being mindful of your thoughts as you're moving towards those goals, as you're communicating, just being mindful of those thoughts and how you're communicating with yourself will be really helpful. But yeah, finding that, that sense of peace and stillness before taking action, if that's available to you right now, will be really helpful. So you're moving with that intention and really taking your time and not letting anybody like rush you towards something. Okay. Yeah. So that is, that's the energy in the tarot land. So we're going to move to the Oracle doing the wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Van Reed. So we're going to see what's going on in Oracle land <laughs> and <laughs> the things I say, I tell you. And um, as we did with the um, tarot deck, we're going to take some moments to get grounded, take some breaths, and see what's coming up for us with the Oracle cards this month. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors who support our highest good, please assist us with what we need to know for the month of April 2023. Thank you for your love, truth, and understanding. May we please have clarity and protection during this reading. Ashe. What do we need to know? April, please. What do we need to know for the month of April? Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> right in alignment with this two of swords so observing your thoughts observing your emotions observing the circumstances before taking action and really you know having that sense of curiosity where where it's like hmm, what's going on here like okay does this feel right let me take a step back taking a step back to just kind of look and see what's going on before moving forward so it's not like a shh, like a kind of like intense fierce, go for it energy at first. You want to take time to really just be observant of your surroundings, of your inner and outer world, and take action accordingly. So just taking time to really just observe, step back when need, take breaks when needed. And then the next card that we get is leg up, leg up number 34, a leg up. So if you've been looking for help or support, this is a great month to receive that, especially with the Six of Wands kind of going on. So if you've been working towards something, knowing that help is on the way and, you know, wherever you feel nurtured or supported, like who helps you to feel nurtured or supported? How do you help nurture or support others? And how can you do that this month? And knowing that interdependence is important. You know, we talk about independence, but as people who live on this planet, we need each other, you know, and it's, you know, interdependence kind of creates this healthy way of relating to one another and helping support one another. So if you're, you've been asking for help with a particular project or an area or a goal, this might be the month to continue to reach out for that and also be that helping hand for someone else or others as well. And then the next card we get, the last Oracle card we get is number 15, Message in a Bottle. So this is a basically about receiving messages from spirit, or source or whatever you want to call it, whatever resonates with you. If you've been asking, looking for signs, this is definitely a confirmation of looking out for those signs and asking specifically for what you need and looking out for those signs of confirmation, knowing that your messages will be heard and received. It may not look how you think it's gonna look or how you like want it to look in your mind, but just being observant with that observer card and aware of the messages that are coming through and making those requests known about what you need at this time for the month of April. Yes, so this is definitely kind of like a regenerative energy that I'm feeling coming through for the month of April. 
Um, yeah, so it's definitely an opportunity to regroup, recharge, and kind of really uh, move at our own pace for this month, um, both um, individually and collectively. Yes, so this is going to wrap up the reading for the month of April. If this resonated for with you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you know anyone who um, this reading might support, feel free to share it. Thank you so much for your support. I also have some really exciting offerings for the month of April. I'm bringing back Clarity and Light sessions. I'm super excited. And it's a five-week series of one-on-one -on -one sessions for clarity, energetic reset, and empowerment. We do an energetic inventory using tarot readings. And then the next four weeks is all about Reiki sessions that have specific themes to support you at a crossroads. Think of it as an energetic jumpstart. Yes, yeah, so if you're needing like an energetic jumpstart or reset and working one-on-one -on -one with me, feel free to check out my website. The sessions will begin the week of April 24th. So you have time to sign up and see if that works for you. And I'm working with seven clients to ensure that I'm really taking that time to really work with the client one-on-one -on -one and not overextending myself. I will be doing a limited amount of um, tarot readings and that's on my website as well not as many this month because i really want to devote time with clarity and light clients lastly i will also be doing a group distance reiki session on april 11th at 7 p.m eastern standard time and that is via zoom it's going to be on my eventbrite page and this is a 45 minute session for relaxation, ease, clearing energetic debris, and supporting a good night's sleep. And that is going to be yeah, available until a bit 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 11th. You can sign up. That's the last uh, time to sign up for that. And it is the tickets are $23 per household. So if you're living with people, family, roommates, chosen family, if you're in the same household, you only have to buy one ticket. So feel free to check that out. All of that information is going to be below. The link is, they're all going to be in that description box below. Um, I think that's it. Be well, take care of one another, take care of yourselves. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.